From its innovative business platforms to its pioneering regulatory and legal frameworks, Abu Dhabi has become known as a falcon economy with soaring opportunity and financial growth in record time. Join me as I explore its remarkable story and watch as the falcon takes flight. Only a few decades ago, this coastline was a series of fishing villages connected by a single unpaved road. The discovery of oil in the late 1950s transformed Abu Dhabi's economy and led to the reclamation of land upon which these imposing buildings behind me are built. So how has business taken Abu Dhabi from fishing to finance so quickly? I'm at Yas Marina's circuit, which helped put Abu Dhabi on the map when it became a fixture on the Grand Prix calendar. And I'm meeting with a corporate giant who has experienced the growth of the city firsthand. This racetrack is one of many other symbols about how far this city has come. Would you say the city has it right? Absolutely. They've been outperforming on every single aspect of their business and culture plan. As a global firm, what first attracted you to the UAE capital and importantly, what keeps you here? ADGM itself, they've been an amazing partner in our establishment in sharing the highest standard of regulatory and legal framework. Institutions like ours and other global firms who chose Abu Dhabi to settle here need to feel comfortable to establish long-term businesses. If you look back in 2004, our local partnership started with $200 million. Today, the region represents over $20 billion of assets under management and close to 17% of the global AUM we manage. Why we're here is obviously we want to keep growing those partnerships within Abu Dhabi and in the broader region. Yassine, talk to me about your outlook for the city. You see this city attracting the most seasoned investors with the highest caliber of investment professionals. Today, landing a job at Mubadala or Adia would be seen as a perfect career accelerator. If you look at me 20 plus years ago as an undergrad or a graduate, my dream internship would be to go to the city of London or Wall Street. Today, you should see the pile of CVs you're receiving on a daily basis. People want to be here, want to come here and work out of Abu Dhabi. I'm curious to know what attracts businesses to this city, so I'm in Abu Dhabi's global market to find out more. There is so much happening today in Abu Dhabi, developments across the entire Abu Dhabi in all the different sectors. But when it comes to the financial industry, it has never been better than where we are today. Jamal, in recent decades, we've seen massive change, transition and acceleration in the UAE capital. What's been driving it? I remember in the 80s, Abu Dhabi in the UAE is not what it looks like today. The economic development we're witnessing here in Abu Dhabi really resulted from having a very clear vision of how we want to, to diversify Abu Dhabi's economy. We have access to markets, access to businesses, a direct application of English common law, which gives certainty to investors to be part of ADGM community a vibrant ecosystem that not only help companies to establish easily, but also help them to, to grow. And when, when they grow, this is where you see the real GDP contribution to the economy. Abu Dhabi is home to the largest sovereign wealth funds in the world. We have more than 23,000 millionaires living in Abu Dhabi. The family offices from ADG manages around $200 billion of AOMs. The growth has been very rapid and massive. It's really amazing to be part of this, this journey. Let's hear the perspective of someone who has experienced Abu Dhabi for a long period of time, both in and out of the boardroom, Ray Dalio. Ray, it's great to have you back in the UAE. You enjoying uh, the weather uh, in Abu Dhabi, uh, I'm sure. This is the best time of year, and it's great. Since I've been coming over the last 35 years, the place physically has changed dramatically. What hasn't changed is the culture. 
we're coming here because of their clients and there's the relationships. But then when we start to realize what an amazingly hospitable place it is, what a great place it is to work, to uh, have relationships, to raise kids, to raise families and so on, then it becomes a home. It's that warm Arabic machabar, as we say. Yeah. You have recently opened a branch of the Dalio family office here. Congratulations. Thank you. My question is, why here, why now? The long-term relationships that I've had, which have been so satisfying, the symbiotic relationship, it's a hub, it's a fantastic hub. It's vibrant. There's such a diversity of talent and people. It's in a terrific time zone, okay? because it allows me to go to the east or the west in terms of the work. And in this region, I think that there's a lot of innovation. You know, one of the great things about this place is the ability to make change, to not be stuck and trapped in a particular mindset or industry to be able to move forward. We can think of Florence and Venice and these types of places as Renaissance states. I think Abu Dhabi is a Renaissance state that is attracting talent and creating this kind of hospitable environment. For millennia in Abu Dhabi, it's trade that has united communities and united the city's vision of tomorrow. Today, trade, industry and finance are integral to the capital's success as it fortifies its position as a global investment and asset management hub. Join me again next time as I explore key sectors of growth and meet executives helping this falcon economy soar.